Well, many associate Ed Snyder with bringing hockey to Philadelphia more than 40 years ago. While his Flyers have flourished during the past four decades, Snyder is now taking his relationship one step farther. In fact, much farther outside the city limits and crossing over international boundaries. Yeah, tonight we begin part one of our series Northern Exposure to take you inside the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation. In its most basic form, um, this is about Mr. Snyder's vision, uh, which is giving opportunities to kids to, to play hockey and to fall in love with the sport. I think it's great what, what Ed Snyder's doing for these kids. He's giving kids that haven't been playing hockey at all, haven't even picked up a stick, and he's giving them ice time, free equipment, free skates, and it's really great. I really decided that I wanted this to be my legacy. It was an idea and decision made two years ago by Ed Snyder to help a hand-picked group of Philadelphia kids that would otherwise likely not have the resources to play the game of hockey. Right, how you doing, pal? Good to see you. It really all started with the school day program. And that's essentially um, a program where uh, a classroom full of kids, um, hand-selected by their teachers, would get onto a bus at school, come to a rink, and the, the Ed Snyder Foundation would provide them with equipment, um, with experienced coaching, and ice time, all at no cost. The program grew quickly. I think it's really cool because it's free. All you gotta do is go out to the place and you play hockey. If it wasn't for a program, I'd probably be at home now, and um, I'd probably be doing some other sport that I'm not good at. But hockey is the best sport for me now. And more kids fell in love with the ice. My name is Jonathan. My name is Michael Fedotov. I play for Ed Snyder Youth Foundation. I play on defense. I'm a right wing. I'm John Kenny. My name is Kyle Lafferty. I play defense. I play go the goalie. I'm Joseph Darty. I play defense, and I'm with Ed Snyder Hockey. At first, the idea of playing ice hockey was new to most of these kids. I never played hockey before because I thought it was actually crazy. I thought you'd get bruises or bumps every time you got hit by the puck. But then I'm a goalie, so I actually don't, I don't get as many bruises. Our mission is to provide a safe environment. Uh, we, we, we make sure that the kids understand and know what they need to do from how to put a skate on, how to tie a skate, how to put the equipment on, what order the equipment goes on, um, how to prepare themselves for going on the ice. All right, here we go, defense, defense. The idea was simple teach kids hockey to build their confidence. And not just get better as an athlete, but as a person. That they, they become more confident, they become stronger. Uh, they, it, 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 what it does is it rolls over into all the other aspects of their life. You know, we, we've talked about how, how the hard work, um, just, just showing how hard work can translate into success on the ice. Um, how, how that is the same thing in the classroom. Um, I, I, think, I think kids realize when they see that they can stand up on skates and they can hold a hockey stick and they play in a game if they work hard. They realize that if they, if they work that hard in the classroom, they can, they can see results in their grades. Um, and, and that's absolutely what this is all about. Uh, we're adding a tremendous educational com component to the whole program and uh, we're excited. On the ice, in the classroom, and even outside their neighborhoods, the foundation's ultimate goal is basic to change the lives of these kids for the better. The idea that, that some of these kids have never been outside of two blocks from their home, that, that their whole universe is from their home to their school and back. Uh, what we're able to do through, through, through the various programs that we've set up is expand the universe, expand the horizons for these kids. Expanding horizons and crossing borders. I'm going to Canada for the first time. This summer, 15 of the foundation's kids were rewarded with a trip to the Durham Hockey Institute in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. Not only to build hockey skills, but to teach valuable life lessons on a trip they would never forget. When people ask me if I ever left the country, I could be like, yeah, because as Snyder, then they'd be like, oh, you know S. Snyder? I'd be like, yeah. He's actually a really great guy because he's the one that brought hockey hockey to um, Philly. So it, that was really awesome. And like since he's like a, such a big 
businessman. He actually has still has time for like little kids. Their gratitude is evident, but the foundation is not resting on what it has built. It's, it's starting to pay off already for these kids, but five years, ten years down the road, um, I think we're going to see exactly what this program is all about. Um, when, when we have kids who maybe weren't going to go to college, they're succeeding in college um, and they're succeeding down the line. The long range goal is to get more and more kids involved. Uh, we're, I think we had a thousand, we, we want to grow to at least 10,000. We really do and we want to grow into other communities. Right now we're focused mostly in Philadelphia. Uh, we want to go into Camden, we want to go into Chester. We want to go into other areas and, uh, and really grow this program and help kids all over the region. If it wasn't for um, this hockey program, I would never lost, left the country, and I would never have these friends that I have now. Team, 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 Philly! Go get lunch. I think mm. it'll be interesting, Derek, to see yeah. how far hockey takes them, not only, uh, you know, whether they uh, advance and play the sport into to mm -hmm. the next level, mm -hmm. if, if that's mm -hmm. a possibility, but to see how far that they grow as people because of this experience. And I think as we see uh, throughout the course of the week, how much the experience they get to really bond with the sport of hockey uh, and, and how much it, it starts to grow together through the foundation. And for a sport that is so lacking mm -hmm. in exposure, especially to a lot of inner city kids, it is not a sport that is worshiped in the home like football and basketball. To expose these kids to hockey will also, I think, generate more interest in these kids watching hockey and maybe even playing hockey through high school and maybe in college. And who knows, from among them, maybe a future star will emerge. You never know. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all new to them right now. Well, if you want more information on the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation, log on to esyhf.org or just call 215-952-4196. Coming up tomorrow on Sports Night, we board the bus for Oshawa, Canada, but not before a few stops along the way to give the kids a chance to reflect on this once-in-a-lifetime experience. I'm thankful to just get up in the morning and say, hey, I'm going to Canada and play some hockey. It's amazing.